Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I am super excited to be able to finally share with you guys our half bathroom makeover reveal. This has been such a fun process. It's our first true DIY in this house. We bought it back in July of 2022. And let's let's just revisit where we started before we're going to add the finishing touches. So the bathroom was totally functional. It was very builder grade. So everything was just a generic sink, a generic toilet, nothing fancy about it. And that's fine, but it really wasn't our style. And so I knew I wanted to be able to bring in a moody, modern space to our home. I took you guys through the process of creating the mood board for the space so that you could see how I gathered design inspiration and how I applied it to this actual space in our home. We also laid some Floor Pops floor tiles. They're a two-tone white and gray from the Chris Loves Julia line. We also made our own shiplap for the space, which was such a process, but honestly, super, super thrilled with how it all turned out. I absolutely love it, as does my husband. And we painted it this beautiful timber green color from Valspar. And then to take things a step further, we built our own Pottery Barn dupe vanity using some plans from Pine and Poplar. I knew I wanted that designer look and throughout this entire space, we were doing it on a budget and the vanity was no exception to that rule. We're super thrilled with how it turned out. We had fun in the process too. My husband and I love to do this type of stuff together. So it was really fun to be able to spend the last few weeks doing this project together. I hope you guys enjoyed the series as well. If this is the first video you're watching of it, I will have all of them linked down below so that you can check out the progress from start to finish for our half bathroom. But now we are going to move on to adding some finishing touches in the space and I'll show you guys how it all came together. So we began by removing the old light fixture. It was functional, but it just was not going to translate well for the style of the new space. And I picked up a light fixture from Home Depot. I really like the shaded glass, so that way it won't be harsh on the eyes. Moving on, now we are going to hang the pivoting wall mirror. I found one that I absolutely love from Pottery Barn, but it was just really pricey, so I found a really budget-friendly dupe on Amazon. It is quite heavy still, so we are going to be doing the drywall anchors for it, just to ensure that it's not going to be going anywhere. But if you shop the open box deals on Amazon, you can get even more savings, so definitely keep that in mind when you are looking to pick stuff up. Now I'm going to add the hand towel holder and I did opt to get a new one for this as well. So that way it's the same matte black color as the mirror and they all coordinate well perfectly. The hand towel I picked up is from Target. It is part of the Hearth and Hand line and it is this beautiful cream and beige color that has a nice heathered effect to it. And this white and black soap and lotion set is also part of the Hearth and Hand line at Target. And I love that the creamy color helps tie in the snowbound that we used on the upper half of the walls. Now I'm going to be adding some art above the toilet. And funny enough, while I was measuring this out, I realized that the toilet is actually not centered on this wall. So. I did opt to center it to the toilet rather than the wall because I felt like to the eye it would look really off if I actually centered it. So the frame was the perfect way of tying in the wood tones of the vanity to the other side of the room and it's an easy way to swap out the art seasonally with some digital downloads from Etsy. And now I'm going to add this reed diffuser that I got from the Casaluna line at Target. 
It smells absolutely divine and we don't have to worry about having a candle in the bathroom that somebody forgets about. So this was definitely the right choice. I also added the matching toilet roll holder as well as this seagrass wastebasket from Target. I am so incredibly happy with how this all came out. I love these floor pops. They were such an affordable way of just elevating the space. And I like how each of them are a little bit different from each other. They have multiple different patterns so that way you don't have it where they're all just looking the same. This vanity is everything. Oh my goodness. We had so much fun and stress <laughs> building it but it turned out so nice the top was from home depot and the knobs were from cb2 the faucet was from amazon and i love the hot and cold details on it the lotion and soap dispenser were from target the mirror is also from Amazon, as well as the light fixture. I actually swapped this out from the one I had on the mood board. I felt like the mood board one was very um, firm housey, and I just wasn't finding one that was gonna ship that I was able to return, so I was nervous. <laughs> and then the towel ring is also from Amazon, and the towel is from Target. And I love the detail of just adding the paintable um, light switch covers. I accidentally got a little paint on the actual thing, but it just really enhances the look of your space to have them blend in more. So I'm super happy with those. And on the other side, this frame is from Target. I love how it has the thin outside and the thick mat on it. This one is an 11 by 14, with an eight by 10 mat. Then the diffuser is from Target. It's one of the Casa Luna ones and it smells absolutely incredible. The new toilet, of course, with the nice flat edges to make cleaning that much easier. It's the little things in life. The toilet paper holder ring is also from Amazon. And then the wastebasket is from Target. And here is a quick reminder of the before of this half bathroom project. And here is the half bathroom all finished, friends. I am so thrilled with how this project turned out, as is my husband and our son. It Honestly, it came together so beautifully and I just love that we were really able to apply the mood board into each individual component. The vanity project was so fulfilling and just being able to look at it each day, it's awesome. So leave me a comment down below with how you think this space turned out.
Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today. I sure hope that you got lots of decorating ideas and inspiration for how you can take a space in your home that just is not what you want it to be and how you can apply that to making it a designer look but on a fraction of the price. I am so thrilled with how this all turned out. Thank you guys so much for following along with the series. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. How do you think I did from the mood board to the application of the space? I would love to hear your thoughts about it. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here and I will see you in my next video. Bye.